Inspired by Krigami, the Japanese art of folding and cutting paper to create three-dimensional structures, MIT engineers and their collaborators have designed a new type of stent that could be used to deliver drugs to the gastrointestinal tract, respiratory tract, or other tubular organs in the body. The stents are coated in a smooth layer of plastic etched with small needles that pop up when the tube is stretched, allowing the needles to penetrate tissue and deliver a payload of drug-containing microparticles. Those drugs are then released over an extended period of time after the stent is removed. This kind of localized drug delivery could make it easier to treat inflammatory diseases affecting the GI tract such as inflammatory bowel disease or eosinophilic esophagitis. According to the researcher, this technology could be applied in essentially any tubular organ. Having the ability to deliver drugs locally on an infrequent basis really maximizes the likelihood of helping to resolve patients' conditions. The research paper appears in the journal Nature Materials. Inflammatory diseases of the GI tract such as IBD are often treated with drugs that dampen the body's immune response. These drugs are usually injected so they can have side effects elsewhere in the body. The researchers wanted to come up with a way to deliver such drugs directly to the affected tissues, reducing the likelihood of side effects. Stents could offer a way to deliver drugs to a targeted portion of the digestive tract, but inserting any kind of stent into the GI tract can be tricky because Digested food is continuously moving through the tract. To make this possibility more feasible, the MIT team came up with the idea of creating a stent that would be inserted temporarily, large firmly into the tissue to deliver its payload and then be easily removed. The stent they designed has two key elements, a soft stretchy tube made of silicone based rubber and a plastic coating etched with needles that pop up when the tube is stretched. The design was inspired by Krigami, a technique that the research team has previously used to design a non-slip coating for shoe soles. Others have used it to create bandages that stick most securely to knees and other joints. The Krigami stents were engineered to provide a reversible shape transformation uh, from flat to 3D buckled out needles for tissue engagement and then to the original flat shape for easy and safe removal. In this study, the MIT team coated the plastic needles with microparticles that can carry drugs. After the stent is inserted endoscopically, the endoscope is used to inflate a balloon inside the tube, causing the tube to elongate. As the tube stretches, the pulling motion causes the needles in the plastic to pop up and release their cargo. For this study, the researchers created Krigami needles of several different sizes and shapes. By varying those features as well as the thickness of the plastic sheet, the researchers can control how deeply the needles penetrate into the tissue. The researchers tested the stents by endoscopically inserting them into the esophagus of pigs. Once the stent was in place, the researchers inflated the balloon inside the stent, allowing the needles to pop up. The needles, which penetrated about half a millimeter into the tissue, were coated with microparticles containing a drug called pyrosteronide, a steroid that is used to treat IBD and eosinophilic esophagitis. Once the drug containing particles were deposited in the tissue, the researchers deflated the balloon, flattening out the needles so the stent could be endoscopically removed. This process took only a couple of minutes and the microparticles then stayed in the tissue and gradually released uh, pedosteronide for about one week. Depending on the composition of the particles, they could be tuned to release drugs over an even longer period of time. Uh, this could make it easier to keep patients on the correct drug schedule because they would no longer need to take the drugs themselves but would periodically receive their medicine via temporary insertion of the stent. It would also avoid the side effects that can occur with systemic drug administration. The researchers also showed that they could deliver the stents into blood vessels and the respiratory tract. They are now working on delivering other types of drugs and on scaling up the manufacturing process with the goal of eventually testing the stents in patients.